I'd uh, like to introduce Mr. Gary Glick to all of you. And Gary is the commander of the, hey, of the Jewish War, the Jewish yeah. Veterans yeah. Association. Yes. Right? And Gary, and they, uh, if you could uh, let Gary have like a yes. few minutes of his time. And for any of you guys, the women or veterans, it's an important thing to know also is if you go to the VA, you get a medical alert for free. No ends, ifs, or buts. And also is later on when you need aid in attendance, you get aid in attendance and you can get up to uh, 2000 a month for the rest of your life. And if you're white or if you know any veterans that the veterans are born and their wives are around, they get aid in attendance also. Really? Yes, yes, yes. Like he, his mom gets it. He, her, his father fought during the Korean War. Korean War. She yes. gets it. And we get over a thousand a month the rest of her life if they need the aid in attendance. I just picked this out and uh, we, we go to a lot of schools and this <coughs> is very moving. It was uh, written by Charles M. Provence for the soldier. <coughs> and as, uh, as veterans know, if, if it wasn't for us, this country wouldn't be where, where they are. Mm -hmm. It's the soldier, not the minister, who's given us freedom of religion. It's the soldier, not the reporter, who's given us freedom of the press. It's the soldier, not the poet, who's given us freedom of speech. It's the soldier, not the campus organizer, who's given us freedom to protest. It's the soldier, not the lawyer, who's given us the right as a fair trial. It's the soldier, not the politician, who's given us the right to vote. It's the soldier who slews the flag, serves beneath the flag, and who's caught in his draped by the flag, and who allows protest to burn the flag. Thank you, Gary. Thank you so much. And God bless all the veterans. Yes. Are any veterans in the audience today? Yeah. Yeah.